Let me check. We all know is that there is no trauma quite like a TikTok. Toxic TikTok woman humiliate men at the gym, okay? Trauma. Those traumas inflicted on and documented by TikTok influencers and um, used by those same influencers for social media clout are by far the worst traumas known to man. Nobody in the world has ever known the sort of suffering that this group of poor unfortunates experience every day of their miserable lives. Case in point, who is this take guy? TikTok vlogger Jessica, who went viral over the past few days after posting a video to her 600,000 plus followers revealing the purported sexual harassment that she encountered at the gym. She also posted the video uh, to Twitter along with this caption. This is her caption. She said, this guy kept making me extremely uncomfortable at the gym. This is why I'll end up crying on stream because I feel so grossed out at times with the amount of sexualization I experience. Hopefully this spreads awareness for girls who experience this type of treatment at the gym. Okay. This guy must have done something. In the thread below the video, she further explains that this man was staring at her for, quote, disturbingly long periods, and that this triggered her, quote, fight or flight response and conjured up memories of, quote, previous traumas. She emphasized that she's tired of being sexualized and just wants to work out in peace without anyone watching her. But wasn't this on stream? Didn't they just say that it was on stream? Am I no TikTok, but you can stream on TikTok? She said she would cry on stream later, okay. It sounds like whatever happened exactly, it was pretty terrible. I mean, it's obviously this over, guy Let's the see. gym, he's a pervert and a creep. He's lurking off in some dimly lit corner, staring conspicuously at her. That must be the case because the only other possibility is that this woman is a narcissistic drama queen and a liar looking for ways to entrap innocent men so that she can slander <laughs> them on the internet for clicks. And that just doesn't sound like anything that any woman on TikTok would ever do. <laughs> well, let's consult the actual video just to uh, find out. Here it is. This is how to not approach girls at the gym. I hate this. I hate this. I hate when I say this. It's makes me so uncomfortable. Feral, 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 like feral. There's mirrors everywhere, so it's like you can easily ca catch people. Act. Oh, this is nothing. Okay, we're gonna move on to the thin five now. I want you to watch very carefully. Stair counter? He's glancing when he's looking at the room, till now at least. Why is he walking over? You don't have to do that. It's okay. No, no, it's okay. I got it. Thank you, though. He was only working out behind me to go up to me because I was at a squat rack all the way in the corner of the gym to avoid weirdos like this. He didn't need to be so uh, derogatory, though. She seems anxious and uncomfortable in general, but the guy is like just wondering why she is recording shit and kindly offered to help. Why do people make such a big deal out of fucking nothing? I don't know it. I think it's made a big deal because this is posted. Like, up front, he wasn't staring. How, when you're in a room with people, what does your eyes automatically go to? Movement and other people, right? You look when you when you look in a room when you're standing there, you're not staring completely at the at the wall. You will automatically if someone thing moves, your eyes goes there. Watch the whole video. The guy glances over a few times, probably wondering why she's recording herself. Then he comes over and offers to help her rack the weight. She declines. He says, okay, oh, okay, and walks away. The end. She's the brummer, not him. Yes. Ah, okay. So I, I agree with you, uh, Acid Girl. In this case, being sexualized with consent is not the same as without consent. But was... Was there any sexualizing here? That's the question. Because I didn't see any sexualizing. She does all of it, man. She fucks every guy she walks by. It. I mean, 
I can do whatever I want with her. If you really believe this, please seek help. You're a massive problem on this planet. No, I don't mean you can do that, but I mean, was he sexualizing? What what he did? Like, let's let's just go through actions in this movie. He was doing a set at one point. He looked at different places in the room. Not only at her. Two, few times it was in her direction as well. <laughs> And then he asked if she wanted help with putting on a plate. That's what happened. I don't see anyone's hair saying that you can do whatever you want with her. And she said, no, he stepped away. I, I can't even see why this is... Re why, why this is uh, even slightly anything to do with the case. Yes, but if you say, I hate being sexualized, and then you do sell pictures of yourself naked on the it seems odd. This whole debate is really dumb. I'm not saying he was sexualizing. I'm saying uh, that the response by saying she has an OnlyFans is weird. If she was sexualized by that man, yes. I kind of agree. If he did, if he was like creeping, if he was like doing anything bad, but he didn't do anything bad, let's be real. And and kind of the co this comment is kind of weird. I hate being sexualized. Maybe that's not the correct comment either if you are selling sex. You don't hate being sexualized and sell sex at the same time. But you might hate being approached in a gym. Or in the situations. But you don't hate being sexualized because you're obviously. <laughs> you can hate what you do for a living. Yeah, kinda true. That's actually a good point. You're toxic and you don't even realize it. Kinda agree with him. But this is. I feel like this is irrelevant for the whole thing anyway, because this has nothing to do. If she's doing OnlyFans or not here is uh, to me irrelevant. If this was a, another girl that made the video that isn't doing OnlyFans. This would be exactly the same because he didn't do anything bad in this video. That's my take. It's irrelevant. Totally irrelevant who she is. If she has an OnlyFans or not. That is just not relevant to this uh, case at all. This is Melina's take on the guy who shot. Guy with a gun in a restaurant. A guy held uh, up a restaurant with a gun. Apparently killed him, saying saving everyone potentially. And she called the guy a murder, said it was injustice. She, I haven't seen that because I, I it's the unc uncle that negotiates for peace. Girls are looking for everything to make a man look like a pervert, and that isn't true in most cases. But some, some do, but men do the same. Men do exactly the same. It's just on the different topics. What more? He glances over in her direction a few times uh, for less than like half a second at a time. And then finally walks over and tries to help her put the weights on the bar. And she declines his help and he says, okay. And then he walks away. I feel like we should normalize that it is allowed to ask people if they want help. That should be allowed. And if they decline, you should do like this guy. Do, be like this guy is what I would say. Walk away. <laughs> be exactly like this guy. That's what I would have said. Offer help. They say no. If they say no, you step away. And that's and, it. And they all live happily ever after. Well, I mean, he does, maybe, but she walks away traumatized. Got the emote, lol. <laughs> this. <laughs> oh, what, what? Just remember internet. I need to see you. Just remember internet always highlight the worst side of the topics. Not every woman like this and neither all men being creepy. Correct. <laughs> well, but that was a good emote to use. <laughs> Family ties. 
Now, before we analyze this incident, one thing you should know is that this video is one installment in an ever more popular genre Maxo, on social media. Maxo there are Max. apparently many videos of good men afternoon. Quote, good afternoon, good afternoon, Kim. Thank you for another month the Prime. These incidents Nine are months. usually captured in the same way. There's a woman at the gym filming herself working out for whatever reason, and in the process, she catches some man in the background quickly. About uh, this guy. Walsh has argued for uh, restricting pornography and supports uh, criminalizing abortion. Walsh argued that ozone depletion and acid rain were never a serious problem. But who is Walsh? Uh, Chad Enjoyer, 2000. So this guy might not be the most reliable source, but he, he showed us at least... Let, let's see what he has to say. Direction. She isolates the clip, posts it to the internet, and then shames the offender for his conduct. Here's just one more recent example that got some attention a couple months ago uh, of this sort of thing. As I said, there are oh. many others where this came from. And this one, a TikTok influencer named Adriana claims to have captured footage of a gym employee, quote, being a pervert. It was good progress, for sure. It's not what it's shirt about. Off. And you may ask, well, what the hell are you doing taking your shirt off in the middle of the gym? We'll get to that in a second. But um, anyway, here's the video. And up for myself, he threatens. Oh, we have seen this one before. He has picked out videos from Joey Swall on TikTok, I think. To call the police and revoke my membership. Uh, slowing down, main character syndrome, yeah. Do you need something? Do you need something? No. Do you need something? Do you need something? No. Okay, I thought so. Keep it pushing. If you're getting rude, you can leave. Nobody was looking at you any time you want. This is... Okay, I've seen that one. That, that, that one is really bad as well, but... <sighs> this is a few examples out of how many how many people are at the gym daily. It's insane amount of people, right? This happens everywhere. It's people doing dumb shit everywhere well, in the sex world. Sex-segregated gyms. We just do. Like, male and female gyms, uh, That that's the solution to all this stuff. Because let me tell you something. No man at the gym been to many gyms in my life men are not looking joey commenting on what you saw let's see yeah we, we saw this one on stream actually the, exactly this one oh we're seeing this let's say this guy no is this no this isn't joey's role over exaggerating what happened to her now let's another no, we can Chick over exaggerating what happened to her. Now, let's say this guy was trying to shoot his shot. As soon as you said no, he left. Isn't that what y'all wanted? He literally walked away and left you alone. And for some reason, you still got the nerve to say you feel unsafe. A guy leaving you alone makes you feel unsafe. Make it make sense. Say it with a sweetheart. Yeah. <sighs> I think this is some of the videos he has posted. Guys, don't be like this. Didn't even say excuse me. And then, wait for it. This video was on Twitter, yeah, but it is on his TikTok as well, 100%. Okay, wait for it. What's happening now? Please stop watching bullshit. Proceeds to walk in front of me while holding 95 pounds DBS in each hand right before starting my set. I think you being upset in this video has less to do with that man's actions and more to do with the fact that you had already set up your camera to take your video and you didn't want to move from the center of it or you didn't want anybody getting in the way. Regardless, you should never be in front of the dumbbell rack hitting a set. Now, if you're waiting in front of the dumbbell rack, you're doing something like a run the rack, which is drop set, drop set, drop set, drop set. It is still your job to move if somebody walks up. You did this in the first part of the video. He walked up, he grabbed his dumbbells, you stepped back. This happens every day in gyms. 
usually taking a step back like you did or a common head nod, that takes care of the problem. Now, I would have said it. Is the correct one? Yes. This is how to nod a Okay. I just want to share my perspective on this video. If you guys want to watch Future. the whole thing, you can go over to Boys, page. thank you for the support. First Pippa, foremost, writers, before, everyone. There is a big difference between staring at somebody and simply looking or glancing at them. So why did this man look at you? There's not well, the guy uh, the that was in the video now. You're also taking a video with your camera pointed directly at him and you're talking to yourself. He's probably watching you wondering, what is she doing? I know I would. Also, you talk about, why would this man come over and help me load my plates? Well, if you watch the video, he sees that you struggle putting plates on the other side. Now, any experienced lifter out there knows when you have a barbell on the ground, if you're doing hip thrusts, if you're doing deadlifts, it's very difficult to put plates on. There's actually a jack they make for you to be able to lift up the barbell so you can put the plates on. He sees that you struggled being an experienced lifter and he comes over to try and help you because that's what kind people do. Yeah, at least he didn't have a dumb take like uh, others talk, uh, pulling it towards if it's only fans or not. Yeah, we have seen a lot of this. There is... is this a thing on TikTok that people are posting to shame others? Watch this guy get angry when you're doing a handstand. So let me get this straight. You're at the gym taking a video, doing something you want to post on social media for people to watch, but you're upset that someone at the gym in person is looking at you? How does that make sense? Unfortunately, we see a lot of this on social media. And to be honest, I don't think this man is upset or angry at you. I think he's just impressed. You shouldn't judge people it's based off the faces they make while they're working out. I know I make some crazy faces while I'm training. I feel like this would be the same as someone looking at me while I'm talking to the camera at the gym. Wouldn't that be the same? That someone talk, look, standing in a corner behind so we can see it, we clip, and we say, oh my fucking god, this creep is looking at me while I am uh, standing there talking to my backpack. I feel like that would have been the same level. And yes, we have some uh, examples of that happening. We have seen it a few times before. <laughs> but it's more for fun. And what have we said? We have been laughing at them. Isn't there... Stop talking to your backpack, Knut. No, I won't stop talking to my backpack. Backpack. And do you know what? Every time someone is standing and doing like... We have even have people taking pictures of us. Multiple times. People coming up, sneaking in. A, um, a f mobile picture in the background <laughs> and it's fun right who cares I'm filming already it isn't it doesn't matter of course it can be a bit fun to see for any kind Let's of drama at all to they're just there do doing their thing and they're, they're not looking for any of this just like if you're there and you want don't drama feel and gossip and you're looking for problems and you want to leave and have something to talk about to your friends. Like, oh, guess what happened at the gym? No man wants to leave the gym with that kind of story. Guess what happened at the gym? That's something that some women look for. And so we just need to be in separate. I feel like this guy, again, they're always taking it. This is a problem I see in the political America. It's always men versus woman right versus left and it, it probably is a lot of other places as well probably here in norway too but it, it, it's so fucking dumb all it's so annoying all the time it's not like yeah this guy didn't do anything bad it's like no it's like woman trying to make uh, men look bad in general just, uh, just do your own thing we, that's what we need. in norway it's people versus taxes yeah in this case once again, uh, he looks in her general direction from what, what might add up to like one and a half seconds total. Although she slows down the, she puts it in slow motion to make it seem longer. And this makes him a pervert deserving of public shaming. He glances over at a woman taking her shirt off, whether or not that's the reason he glanced. She is a rich to do against that. poor, and but that's, he makes easy it, if we fight no, each other. Now, let me just make a few points here. 
We're regular people versus not First, regular. There are many reasons why a person might look in your direction while you're out in public. These women, because they're raging narcissists with a severely inflated sense of their own importance and their own physical attractiveness, Salea. just assume Thank you for that the any prime. person who looks at Sta them must be admiring their Sta beauty. Sta but particularly in the, in the first video, Sta I can easily Thank you for the prime. Three months. several that is nice other up. possible explanations. He might have been looking because he was wondering why the woman was filming and muttering to herself like a schizophrenic. have a streaming room with the amount of space like this guy. Maybe he, if he I go to the States. In the background of her shot. He might have been thinking to himself, she's not filming me, is she? And it turns out she was. Or he might have been glancing over because he wanted to turn with the equipment that she was using and was waiting for his chance to swoop in as soon as she... Yeah, you can, you can, uh, what this guy is doing now is just fine. He, he's just looking for any reasons why... To, 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 to why that guy could have been looking in that direction. Look, it doesn't need to be fucking more than when it is movement in a room. If you're standing in a room and there's movement, your eyes will automatically go there. That's how it works for me at least. It, it doesn't need to be, oh, he might have wanted that equipment. It might have been uh, he's looking at her camera. It's just fucking movement in a room. <laughs> and you look at movement she moved on okay he may have been frustrated because he's trying to get his workout in and he's got this woman sitting there maybe he was looking at the ass maybe even was looking at the ass for a second would that be anything bad people do it all the time he wasn't creepy he wasn't staring he looked back away who cares filming a social media video with the damn equipment he wants to use you know that's that that is something that happens I had this experience at the gym over the past weekend. I was using one of the benches over at the dumbbell station while there was a guy who was kind of lingering in the background, staring over at me. It wasn't just me. There were other people using I the benches. He's like staring over and continuously sort of, you know, looking, and then he looked back. And I didn't assume that he was looking at me because of my striking good looks. I, also, I didn't even assume that he was looking at me and thinking, hey, isn't that the what is a woman guy? The latter possibility was much more likely than the former, but instead... I assumed that he wanted to use the bench and both ways. Of course using. it happens both ways. And uh, then I got up and he staked his claim to it as soon as I was done confirming my theory. So this is all very normal and fine in a gym. It's what people do. And Walked nobody has into to my gym ashamed with his spandex uh, that, and a camera. I would be looking women, at that ass and I work out. The Could have happened. really were looking over, at least in part, because they found the women physically attractive. So what? Okay, that still would not constitute harassment, much less would it make them perverts. It would just make them normal men whose only sin is merely noticing a woman. I feel like he is using the wrong word there. It's just normal people. That's what it is. It isn't about men or women, because everyone does the same. Nowadays you need a blind stick to go to gym. This doesn't make them... Well, I get triggered by this no. shit video. No, this I'm not triggered by this video. I saw the... it just We're not triggered about his video. We're more just uh, listening to his opinion about those other videos. It's the men with functioning eyes is, what it, is all it does. Second thing... I feel like this was enough. Clearly she's watching him more than he's watching her. She is the creep. Good, good point as well. Actually, a good point. I didn't think about that before. She must be looking as well. Oh, but Joey Swole has some good... Uh, take the normalize respecting others in the gym. Hello, chat. Ruben. How Thank you for eight months. To see my face pop up on this video, guys. There's nothing wrong with filming in the gym, but you have to load more. Three million views. He gets some views. I can't take it. What was that verification? I don't know. It's every time I go into TikTok, uh, almost I have to show that I'm a human. Not sure why.